Hello and welcome viewers. Today we are going to examine these small CFLs with a candelabra base. Now first thing here, they have the brand name of Sparsam on the front. But on the bulbs themselves, they say IKEA. So, and also back here, it says IKEA of Sweden. So don't ask me who Sparsam is, but that doesn't really seem to be who made the bulbs. Now on the front here, besides the logo, we have the very unusual packaging, which appears to have been like sliced by some horrible thing. I don't know what exactly happened there, but it was sliced dramatically. And now here they tell us, here's the little bulb, there's a picture of it in case you couldn't see them. And then only nine watts, so they're saying about equivalent to a 40 watt, which is pretty good. And then you can see the funny little graphic where they got the one versus like the 13 or the 10, 10 different other bulbs. Now on the back, here again, we see Ikea, but on the front, Sparsam. So uh, it's confusing to me. 2700 Kelvin, so that's going to be a warm white. Uh, light output 500 lumens, which is pretty on par if you ask me with the 500 watt bulb, so I think they nailed that. 9 watts and 10,000 hours, which is pretty darn good. Also notice the inclusion of a 3 year warranty, which I think is important because I have had light bulbs that are supposed to last for a very long time die long before, three, wait, earlier than 3 years, so that was, that's a nice thing to have on there. Um, let's see, and now if we open the package here, we see, we can extract our light bulbs here, we'll look at them in a second, but I do want to admire the inside of this cover as well. First of all, they have this little notice about the mercury, and uh, if you go to this website, lamprecycle.org, that website still exists, and it is still helpful, which I was impressed with, and then also, here they give you some details, including this fun little... 60 seconds till brightness, and also uh, a power button with times 10,000 next to it. Now, perhaps you can turn it off 10,000 times, or I mean 10,000 pictures of a power, I'm not, yeah, so that that's this symbol's a little bit of a mystery, but other than that, it's good. Now here we have one of our light bulbs. This is the specimen here. Um, immediately, I have to say, size is actually pretty darn good. Let me go grab uh, a, a standard. Here we have a traditional bulb and the CFL, and as you can see, they are really comparable in size here, so that's a plus. However, uh, they, the feng shui aspect here, I mean, this is an attractive item, whereas this, I mean, not so much. I mean, let's say, let's say you have a fixture in the ceiling here. You, on one hand, you've got this beautiful unit just sticking out, and then on the next fixture over, you have this guy sticking out the same amount. And so this is probably an application where you have these decorative candelabra bulbs where this is going to be in public view and... I have to say that perhaps this wouldn't be a very attractive choice, so maybe this would be better for use in things like lamps. Now on the bulb itself, again, we have IKEA of Sweden. Don't ask me why of Sweden, as well as some warnings. And some of the information here. They put all of the information on, which I do appreciate. So let's go light it up. Okay, so now we have the bulb in its socket here and I am going to power it on and we can watch the start here so that was not instant however I immediately noticed that in comparison with some of the other CFLs we have in the house it lights up quickly which is a welcomed feature already we're at a fairly acceptable brightness and I mean, like I said, 60 seconds, but really, like I, I think this is good here. And I'm going to turn it off one more time and back on one time. 
but the actual ignition is somewhat slow. So this is off, now on. Oh, well, it goes fast that time. Let's put in a cold one here. Okay. Now, three, two, one, go. So, I mean, it's not instant, but really, I am not displeased with that. Now what I'm going to do is put them in the fixture with... I'm going to put two of them in the fixture and then put the shade on the fixture so that we can see what they look like with the shade on. All right, now we have the two CFLs in the fixture all warmed up. And frankly, that is a perfectly acceptable brightness and they did it quickly and in this type of application you can't see them so it doesn't really matter what they look like I will say though I'm gonna put the incandescents in in a second and there is a difference in light quality and color this just feels a little more unnatural it's a little greener and a little less warm and I understand that that's just kinda how they are but if you're especially picky, like I said, in the, here in this fixture, it doesn't matter. But I feel like over the dining room table or something, that might be a different story. Okay, now we have two of the incandescent varieties. And I don't know for sure if these are 20 watts or 40 watts, but they are dimmer, whatever they are. But the color of the light is more soothing. So overall, I would say that if you're going to be using these fellas, they'd be really good in a lamp like this one because they're quite bright just on their own, perhaps brighter than the traditional candelabra style. However, to color quality and shape, like just the beauty factor, a little lacking. And I would say by that slowest start, they probably have a long life. So, thank you for watching. Here are the light bulbs of the day, and I bid you a happy evening. Goodbye!